All right, Army Survivors, we're going back into Stave Decay Year One Survival Edition Lifeline, Episode Six. Yes, Episode Six. There's been so many videos I've been recording, and this whole thing with the uh, the news for Stave Decay Two, the outfit customizations, and then like Jeffrey talked about the whole live services, and he's like, oh, that's not what I meant. You know, I, he has a different interpretation of what games as a service mean that is different from the norm. Uh, so I basically, what I'm saying is, I can't remember what I did last. I'm sure it involves saving somebody, but I can't remember what I was doing last. I'm gonna assume this character is gonna get tired soon, though, so... Maybe? Over here. I can't, like I said, I can't remember. So let's just, I'm just gonna, let's go out with the assumption that this character is gonna get worn out, so... Or maybe not. Okay. So if he's tired, that, that means we should be fine. Well, let's get a silencer. Switch to semi-automatic. Stock up on some gear. Need bullets. This, this, uh, this weapon... Oh, wait, no, let's use one of those awesome Cleo weapons. Didn't we get, like, a Cleo smacker? I, I don't know the names of these weapons. I thought we got a Cleo smacker. Huh. Well, let's just grab this one anyways. But that one might be damaged. Okay, let's see what Sasquatch wants. Actually, let's heal real quick. Indecisive! There we go. Sasquatch, what is up? I ain't waiting here forever. Ready to move. Oh yeah, we gotta kill Juggernaut. Okay, let's call in probably ammo. Okay, ammo's already being called in. Is there anything else? So what kind of samples do you get from a juggernaut? Deep core samples. Muscle, bone, brain tissue. All I can carry. We gotta know what makes it tick. Okay, that thing is there still. So let's not back into it and explode ourselves. I still think that's terrible placement for a propane tank. But what do I know? What I do know is that it's daytime, and that's good. Got ourselves a juggernaut. There's a tip to put some... Oh, there's a juggernaut right there. Do we want to, like, try to get this Juggernaut? Let's run a few of these guys over. Oh, come on, there's one of these things here, too. It's like everything in the world here. Come on, game, like, cut me some slack. Okay, we're gonna take advantage of the Juggernaut's kind of awkward speeds. Oh, look at him, he's just like being basically the Hulk. Okay, well, first thing we need to do is get rid of him. I said get rid of him. What am I doing? I can just slow time. Pick him off one at a time. Watch out on the right. Where's the Screamer? Oh, wow, look. Oh, it's because he overturned the vehicle. Oh, I hope that doesn't invalidate the damage we did to him. Let's find out. Beat him up! Ugh. <laughs> yeah! Beat him up! That's right, beat him up. Good enough. I can work with it. Woo! Take that, you big fucking elephant, bitch! Let's just get the samples and go. <laughs> oh, Sasquatch is great. Oh, what's this? Look, we gotta lure him away from the vehicle. That freak is beyond just being a freak. That ain't just gas like you see on That's new bone, muscle growth, a ton of mass, and it all happened after he turned. What kind of dead guy does that? Maybe they just look dead. 
Maybe this whole thing is really just some new kind of life. Nice life. I like the old kind, thank you very much. You know, I always really appreciate these little talks. You do? No. Oh, good old Sasquatch. Well, that was convenient, actually, that the the juggernaut was so close by. Let's see if we get orders. Let's see if we get orders after we do this quest. Because it seems like having an active quest kind of cancels it. Dr. Horn had a co-writer on a lot of his papers. Man named Dan Bogatz. Intel says they parted company about three years ago. Dr. Bogatz has been a vocal critic of his former partner ever since. Who knows? Maybe he's right. Maybe Horn was a crackpot. But I want to bring him in to find out. Apparently, the agency has been watching Bogatz lately, and even put a tracker in his car. Find that vehicle and see if he's still alive. I rode out. That's a that could be an interesting turn of events if uh, the first doctor was just um, some guy who had no idea what he's talking about. Looks like I forgot to turn my notifications off again, so that means we get achievement pop-ups. What is that? Oh my god, the aim though. Hey, anybody seen Eldridge? You know what? My favorite thing in the world right now is not seeing Sergeant Eldridge. So you'd rather have him running around unsupervised? Sasquatch, report in. We need to find him. At this point, I'm not sure who's more dangerous. Him or the Zeds. I need an outpost on this location ASAP. Sure, we'll put an outpost there. That might... Help cut down on the wandering hordes. Let's go find Sasquatch first. Where is Sasquatch? Ah, search for Sasquatch. It'll make it easy to find stuff on the map sometimes. I don't know what it is about this map. This map is a little busier looking, too. I mean, I know, obviously it's busier just because it's got more marks all over it, but it's just a lot harder to find what you're looking for. Now, uh, Sasquatch had to go kill all the freaks, so we've done that. We killed one of every freak, so now we're going to see what he wants. Oh, that must be the stuff inside the, the trucks that... There are a few members of the community that mentioned that you can get stuff inside the trucks. Well, we'll take- we'll be a little more thorough the second time around. Because like I said, we're going to go for the short ending first. So we'll look inside those trucks and whatnot and try to like find some awesome gear on the second run through. Oh, squeeze through that. Get around all this wreckage. I'm showing that you're near the freeway tunnel. You looking for Sasquatch? When we picked him up, he was hunting a screamer in there. But screamers are everywhere. Why go into one of the most dangerous parts of the city just to get one screamer? There must be something else. Up looks like they destroyed our car door. Give somebody the squishination treatment. Oh man, let's not get their attention actually. Maybe we could be a little quiet about this. Come on. Get on his head, please. Sir, I have to ask you to turn around and walk the other way. 
this operation is classified? Wait, is that what I think it is? I don't know. Do you think it's a tactical nuclear weapon? A nuke? There are still people alive in the city. And while you run around fighting them, how many more Zeds leave the city limits to go murdering their way across the countryside? We got a hot spot here, and the means to take it out. Sticking around to save people is gonna do more harm than good. This is straight from the Commander-in-Chief. We still have critical personnel on the ground. You have to at least delay. Sure. I'll give you a little time to wrap up your business, but this bomb is on a dead man switch. If I die, or if I even start having sad thoughts, Danforth is gone, you hear me? I thought suicide bombers usually worked for the other guys. The times they are changing. Okay, so I always like the way you put that. Like, is that what I think it is? Like, I don't know. Do you think this is a tactical nuclear device? Like, like I said, sometimes the dialogue in State Decay is actually pretty good. It was, uh, uh, he was a very memorable character. Those of you who are, uh, I mean, I don't think you need to be super perceptive to realize that, um, this is one of the endings. No! Oh, it didn't affect this. So I was like crying out in frustration for no reason at all. Wow, it's, I, we appear to have lost a wheel. Who needs wheels though? Like we still have like a uh, a circular thingy to, to ride on, and it even makes pretty sparkles. So it's even it's even better. The, the vehicle is actually improved for not having the wheel on it. I've actually had a tire go completely flat on my car, and I, I drove it to the, the auto mechanic, and one of the effects of driving your car, like with the, uh, basically this part, like the rim or whatever you'd want to call it, it's, uh, it actually will get deformed by driving it, like it'll basically get super banged up, dented and bent up. So you actually wouldn't want to drive around like this, because it would basically get completely ruined. Fortunately, I didn't drive so much with it that they weren't able to, like, hammer it out basically into the correct shape, but it was, uh, it definitely wasn't feeling good as a result of that. I sure hope I don't get set on fire driving through that. Actually, I don't know if that even happens. Okay, bringing Sasquatch back to base. Recon is telling us that another supply crate has landed at those Clio coordinates. We could not get eyeballs on what made the drop. It may be fast. You ready to light the fires? Let's go ahead and just get the ending so that we could start over again and do things slower. Stupid call sign. Anyway, come talk to me. Right now. Get ready to trigger the nuke. We're leaving on the next bird. Now that's what I'm talking about. Let's make this town glow. Okay, so I guess we still... I, I was wondering if it would just uh, fast forward us to the end of the day. Or, or basically fast forward us to a zombie siege, but it looks like that's not the case, so we can go back out and rescue this guy. And someone's gonna come with me. There's Vince. Let's go get Vince. So, tell me about this nuke you've got. You going to blow us all up? I can't discuss this with you. That is Bullshit. You can kill people, but you can't have a fucking conversation with them? Danforth is overrun with Zeds. We have one chance to blow them up. If we wait, they'll spread all over the countryside. I understand. These things are monsters. But that doesn't give us an excuse to be monsters, too. Look, I know this isn't coming from you. It's Eldridge and his damn dead man switch. So take me to that nuke. I'll disable Eldridge's switch at the source. Then I get to keep my town and you won't be a mass murderer. So, you probably guessed this is probably the second or the pathway that leads to the second ending. But we're not doing that. 
Time to get it on. We're gonna do the short ending first. Let's also not run over that. I'm gonna need to remember to turn my notifications off. There we go. Yep, so all we're gonna do is basically, basically rescue this guy, and we'll probably hit level 2 threat about time we rescue him. Looks like something's paying off, uh, something's destroying some of those hordes. And like I said, because we're kind of like, I'm not, I mean, I'm not necessarily rushing, but the, the, this game mode kind of pressures you into going quick. But the main point is that what it's going to let you do is, by doing the short ending first, it gives you an idea of, like, look, so let's say you did it really poorly and you really messed up a lot of things. Well, now you know a little better of what to expect. So by going for the short ending first and then going for the long ending, you'll be able to correct some of the mistakes you made and also have a more of a... I'm pretty sure if you ram this... Yeah, get an achievement. Ah! Okay. Okay, we're good. Getting attacked by my own vehicle. Okay, so who are, where is this guy we're looking for? Oh, he's still a ways away. Also, I do want to hear the story from this guy. Like, it, was Dr. Horn a whack job or not? I am curious about that. Oh, crap. Is this a... Oh, can we go under this? Yes, yes, we can. I'm at Bogatz's vehicle. Looks like he got swarmed. Can't tell if you got out alive or otherwise. Really, he's down next to a. F Must be joking. MRE, please. Thank you. Man, that guy was swarmed. We've got Bogats. He's wounded. Hey, careful with the moaning. We've got itchy trigger fingers around here. I told her to run, to leave me. But she made a bunch of noise to lead the zombies away. I was alone. Dr. Bogatz, we're going to get you some medical attention, all right? No. You find my daughter. I'm not going anywhere unless we get Shira. Yeah. I can show you where she went. It won't take long. Just help her, please. Okay. Well, she's not that far away. Hey, we don't have a silencer anymore, so that's going to... Make killing these guys slightly more inconvenient since we are likely to bring more enemies than we kill. There. She ran into that building. What's happening over here? Oh my god, he's getting eaten by like two enemies. More MREs are needed. Look at them, they're eating him. These guys are such wimps. They like. Man, it's like. Crazy. I'm afraid to leave the guy. Make it back to his father real quick. Okay, good.
Let's hope that Screamer didn't get the attention of the Juggernaut. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh my gosh. Can we please just not attract every enemy here? Thank you. They're all dead. Okay, you got him. I can't remember how to get back to where we were. Oh my gosh, and I, I don't want to use my gun. Because I'm out of silencers. Oh, that's a feral. I see him on top of that downed vehicle. Okay, let's mark my vehicle. Military pickup. Okay, it's this way. Can I climb over this? Oh. Okay, I think we can go through this building. Yeah, okay, now I remember. Yeah, we can go through the building, and that's how we get back. <sighs> we just cleared this area, and they, they're just waiting for us. The army zombie, too. One... All right, let's get out of here and start heading back home. Okay, back to base, boys. Wait. Okay, we're going the wrong way. Oh my god, it's so hard to turn. Thank you. Get out of my way. Wreckages everywhere. Okay, finally, we're on the way back. Seeing definitely a lot more freaks just in the highway, just on the streets and whatnot. Definitely a lot more than normal. Juggernauts, barrels, just a little bit of everything. Guy on the hood. I don't like how they can get on the hood even though I'm driving at full speed. I wish it would just splat them when I'm at full speed. Oh my gosh. Wreckage. Oh, there's another thing that we could have looted. There's a, yeah, so... The, on the second playthrough, we're definitely going to take a moment to loot some of that stuff inside those trucks. Hey, wait a minute. Why is the army here? If this is about Thomas Horn and his research, I'm out. I'd rather stay with the zombies than spend another minute near that man. Ma'am, Dr. Horn is dead. What? Oh. Sorry. So we need your father to pick up his research. Think he can handle that? He needs a hospital before he needs a job, but yeah. If anyone can do what you need, it's him. No commentary about whether he's like a weirdo or not? A little disappointing. Yeah, yeah, here's our stop. will touch down soon. Thank you so much. I'll take care of my dad until it gets here. Yeah, sure. You do just that. Dan Bogat's only slightly damaged. Need to repair. Especially because it costs... Oh, it does cost a little bit of influence. Are there any other objectives? I mean, technically there's the Cleo drop. Where is... Here's our second in command. He's gonna be defending the base with his crazy backpack. I kinda don't wanna go... Oh, here's the Cleo Smacker. The Cleo Crabby. That's... That's, uh, that's short for the Cleo Smacker. Equip. I kind of don't want to go out and do that mission just because I know it's going to be... I mean, like, what, we're 25 minutes into the episode? Normally, the, the attack comes around, like, 30-ish minutes. So I kind of don't want to go out there. 
But I mean, we can and just kill some time. Oh my gosh, get on target. Oh no, what did you do that for? Come back! Okay, I'm clearly on the wrong control settings. I'm on my smite controls rather than my... He, like, I opened the car door and he ran into that and got knocked over. Oh man, what an episode. Those vehicles, man, they take off once you actually get out of them. If you get out of them while they're moving, man, they just keep going. I wonder, maybe we will be able to get the Clio drop before... Okay, looks like we need to go over this. Very nice. I'm always worried driving over those, like, little makeshift ramps. That the vehicle's gonna flip, because remember, if the vehicle flips, it blows up. I mean, there's plenty of other vehicles dumped all- I mean, there's vehicles all over the road, but... It doesn't stop it from being a little... worrisome. Okay, hey, there's the drop. Oh. Oh no, we drove through it like a bunch of jerks. Oh. Can't do that to them. We actually cleared them out pretty efficiently there, just me just kind of shooting wildly. Last bag. Damn! Oh, I didn't see him! We need to start getting this going. Can I... Ah, oh, forget it. Let's just head back to base. We just don't have the time. I mean, we've got the resources. We could go back and heal, but we're running out of time. How many healing items do I have? Yeah, I've, I've got the healing items and I've got the Molotovs, but I don't want to. I don't want to like. I don't want to have to race back to the objective, or I don't want to have to race back to base and arrive late. I, I had a feeling that would happen. I called it and it did. I was going to hit two for threat level two because. That means threat level 3 will be pretty soon. And after threat level 3, it doesn't take very long to... for the siege to actually begin. Not to mention that Cleo beacon was like calling a bunch of zombies. A crap load of zombies in. And my silencer had run out too. All of that mainly just because, like, we're going faster. We're kind of, like, rushing and fighting a lot less efficiently because we're, like, trying to go super quick when... That was, uh, not the best idea. But all we gotta do is make sure all of these are ready. Okay, yeah, that's good. Okay, and then we are going to grenade launcher. And you can hold way more grenade launcher ammo. 
in a stack. Like, it's State of Decay, um... It's State of Decay 2, it's like, what, you can hold... I think four in a stack, maybe six in a stack? I can't remember exactly. Does this guy have... What, what skill does he have? I still don't have level seven shooting, so I can't get it. Damn, that sucks, I don't have it. And that didn't fully heal him, so let's take another one. Can't carry that much. Make some flame fogassies, or I don't know, whatever. Fogas, fogassy. The flaming things, flame mines. Uh, where's the last gate? Over here, I think. Yeah, there it is. See you around, okay? Gotta get my... Well, I guess the MRE is probably... Well, I should get them anyways, just in, in the event I need to get into melee combat. Grab my MREs. I could probably just use my grenade launcher this entire time. I mean, this is the final wave that we're staying. Little everyday mines that we set up are definitely doing a job. Oh, well, they're picking them off too. And my guys are thinning them out. Dude, this, I don't even have to do anything right now. Oh, am I blocking your way? Oh, I didn't have to do anything. Oh, they triggered off the flame fogassy. Oh, they've triggered two of them off. For basically nothing, that stinks. Well, I'll show you who I can shoot and who I can't shoot. I got the biggest guns. Let's, um... Let's do this thing here. Oh, does that not activate it? Do I actually have to physically shoot it? Yeah, I do. They're not all attracted by it. Have a grenade! You can have a grenade, too. Grenade! That's the end of him. I like the music. Definitely makes it feel more action-packed. Oh, this guy, he wants some. Have a grenade! Oh, look at the accuracy, too. Oh, I blew a vehicle up. I'm guessing two grenades are enough for him. Is that a feral? Not anymore. Right, thin him out. Thin him out, boys. There you go. Thin him out. I'll give you a hand. Oh, they're running out of bodies to throw at us. Is that it? Really, these are the lazy ones. They're, they're not they're not the motivated zombies. They they kinda wanna get in and eat us, but they're like, ah, oh, you know. It's not feeling it today, and I'm not. I'm not feeling invasions. Too bad for him, though. I wonder why it's not ending. Is it because? Is it more time-based? What are you doing? Are you like opening your mouth like a creeper? All personnel, 
last telephone is down. Rally at the evac point. You do not want to stay here. Sir, Let's go. He'll need a medic when he arrives. But he's got his daughter with him. I think she'll get him through it. Copy that, Black Friday. I wrote out. Survivors, this is my final broadcast. I'll leave it on in a loop for however long that lasts. Those motherfuckers in the army have decided to set off a nuclear weapon in the middle of town. They don't care who dies as long as they solve their little problem. Well, I care. So I'm bringing the news to you. Pack up your things, pack up your families, and get as far away from this city as you can. Once you get on the road, you'll face terrors you can't imagine, and there's a good chance you'll die. But if you stay in Danforth, I promise you, you will die. This is Vienna Cho, signing off. For good. Extracted. Danforth has been destroyed. Uh, we rescued six high-value ass assets, nine civilians, six soldiers. No losses. That's because we are, we're super good. That's what, when you put Fox in command, there's going to be no casualties. Well, minus all the, uh, whatever people who are left in the city that we blew up. But they, they don't count. They, they weren't, they're not a big deal. Targets neutralized. 1,348, really? Oh, wow, look at that. 704 zombies killed. Roadkill doesn't count, so the kill count would be even higher. 47 freaks killed. Four of Sasquatch's hunts completed. Well, that makes sense. We did all of his quests. Total score is 4,532. I don't points. They don't honestly matter, but... but... There you go. So that was the short ending. Man, it sucks. I should have... Like, I forgot to turn my notifications off, so like, it popped up and kind of like ruined whatever you were trying to hear. And I made sure I didn't talk during that and so that you wouldn't have the combination of me saying something and then you wouldn't be able to hear it, let alone the achievements popping up and breaking the, um, the dialogue. I mean, that's a really inconvenient place for achievements to pop up. Like, the top left or the top right, that would be a way better idea, because, like, that's exactly where the subtitles appear in pretty much every game. Every game, the subtitles appear in the bottom middle of the screen, so why would you want the achievements to pop up there? I, I don't know, it just seems like a poor design idea. But, uh, let's take a look at some of the achievements we earned, I guess. So we got, uh, oh, is it not putting them in the order that we earned them in? Recent achievements, here we go. So, okay, I told you about this one right here. If we ram into the giant, like, Coca-Cola or a giant energy drink thing, that's where the, uh, when we flipped in the car, that's an achievement. Um, this is one we just got. So here we got Sasquatch, looking very satisfied that we beat up the freaks. Uh, the protege, Madison Grant, who was having the affair with what's-his-name... We got the Examiner, Timothy Hall. Oh, and these are like smite achievements, so they don't count. But that is, uh, that's what's going on. So that was it. Stay Decay Lifeline, the short ending. I believe there are only two endings. So next time we're going to be doing the long ending. Let me know what you thought of it so far. What do you think of the short ending? And also, what do you think I should do next time. Remember that I record these episodes a day in advance, so I won't be able to act on anyone's suggestions basically for two days. But yeah, like, tell me what you think of uh, of this, and also, what do you think I should do? What could, what could I have done better next time? Like, I think we were pretty timely with a lot of the objectives, but uh, maybe I could have brought more silencers with me, since... The density of volumes does get pretty big. Maybe I could have placed my outpost a little more aggressively. I think that's one thing I'm going to do next time is I'm going to make sure anytime we find a material location, I'm going to consider do I want that specific location to be an outpost or not? Because uh, materials, we were also ammo. We were actually running out of ammo pretty aggressively, so I might also claim some ammo locations. Uh, and yeah, I mean, like I said, any other ideas you have for what we could do better for the long playthrough? I don't think it will, like, cause us to fail if we don't play better, but, uh, nevertheless, when you replay it, there's no reason to not try to do better, or at least try different things that you didn't do before. But, hey, that's the end of this episode. Thanks for watching. Like this video if it was entertaining. Subscribe for more Lifeline content. Of course, remember that you don't have to be good to get good.